Times like these too that the people in California sort of look beyond politics and say, listen, we might have these debates on cable television, we might have these debates on Twitter, but yeah. when it comes down to it, regardless of your political party, what matters the most to you is your safety and your security, the well-being of your family, yes. whether you have a job and your overall prosperity, and we see, we feel, we all have friends and neighbors, I mean, you and I are both in California, we right. all have friends and neighbors who are impacted by these fires, and when there are policies that the government has put into to place that are actively damaging to the people. I think the people are looking for different leadership. I think they're saying, yes, listen, yes. ideology aside, California for too long has been a petri dish of these types of policies that make our lives worse, whether it's the environmentalist laws, whether it's the yep. sanctuary state, whether it's banning straws <laughs> in San Francisco, they've had enough. You're absolutely right, Liz, and it's about the quality of people's lives and how they live their lives and how much enjoyment they have. You know, this has impacted my own family. I, I was out campaigning and the fires were threatening my own home, you know, and I was away from home and my wife literally was, was scared to death. And I can just imagine what the people of this state are feeling, what the people of Orange County are feeling right now with this holy fire, uh, which is an interesting designation. And but the, the, the flames are coming right up on the edge of their home. The sheer terror of that and, and the idea that our politicians are just going to sit there and blame climate change and other things like that when they really know in their hearts that it's their mismanagement that's led to this and, and they have not listened to the experts. They've gone ahead and done what these environmental lobbyists want them to do and that is not touch these forests when they have to know that this is really hurting the quality of life of the people right. that they're supposed to represent. I mean, it's, right. and it's knowing inexcusable. That it's inexcusable. It is, and knowing that they have the water right there in our river supply that could Absolutely. be used to contain this fire. It's only 20% contained. Uh, with all due respect to the brave men and women who are fighting this, that's still a lot of destruction. That's still an out-of-control amount of destruction that's going on here. Uh, and and I, I don't feel like the liberal elitists in Sacramento are answering for this. John, this is why you're running for governor. You and I have known each other for several years. You've yep. talked about this out-of-control leadership. Yep. Why aren't the liberal politicos up north answering for this? Why won't... Uh, they don't why have won't, an answer. That's no, why. why won't Gavin Newsom sit down with you and have a debate because I think the people of California would like to hear the difference in what you have to offer us. And, and, you're, and you're absolutely right, Liz. And the reason they won't sit down is because they don't have an answer. I mean, they've got a, a constituency and a funding source, which is the environmental extremists, who won't let them do anything. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.